What's going on guys, Matt here, and I know I haven't made a video in a little less than two months. It's been a really long time since I made a video and posted it on my channel, but um, that was because of um, school. I've been really busy lately and my internship and this whole COVID-19 situation that we're all in right now. So um, right now I'm going to be doing a little bit of like a life story video. Even though it relates to COVID-19, I'm going to be talking about it a lot and how it's affecting me personally. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. All right, so I'm basically going to go through like a whole breakdown of what's been happening around here since COVID-19 started and what's going on. So if you guys don't know, like people in New York, we had to be self-quarantined for a little while. I don't know how many days specifically we had to be self-quarantined, but... We're in the middle of it right now. It absolutely sucks because I have to be stuck in the house the entire day and not do anything. I can't really go outside. I mean, I, I can play basketball in my driveway, but that's basically it for outside activity. And I have to stay inside. I've been basically like playing video games for six or seven hours a day. Like I just got a new Twitch account. And um, if you want to follow me on Twitch, um, my account name is MSCJWU, just those six letters. And yeah, follow me. I'm going to be start posting some videos during this whole quarantine thing. So, so yeah, definitely follow me and I'm going to post some videos soon. But anyways, um, yeah, basically you can't really do anything. I can't play with my friends. I can't be with anybody. I can't be with the rest of my family. I I'm basically stuck with my, my brother and my parents for pretty much the entire day. And, um... As long as that goes, um, pretty much almost all restaurants are closed. I can't go and sit down anywhere at a restaurant. I can't go to um, like Texas Roadhouse. I can't go to Applebee's. I can't go sit down at even like McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or wherever. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I literally went to McDonald's the other day and they had all these like garbage bags and garbage bins like covering the dining room saying that we can't go in there and like this is all crazy it really is and um the other major thing sports is something that i watch daily i watch any kind of sport any day of the week like i watch basketball i watch football i watch baseball um even um post game shows talk shows radio all that I'm always watching it sometime during the day. And now I can't watch it, really. I can't watch any basketball games now or football, the XFL. I can't watch baseball. That's supposed to be starting soon. And I, it's something that I watch on TV a lot. And I, it just sucks that I can't watch it because now I'm still watching the news every single day, trying to um, figure out what's going on and if, the spread of the virus is getting better or worse and what happened what's happening with the economy and the dow and what's happening with um everyone's um bank accounts and all that and like pretty much the economy and, the, and what's going on with the virus is basically what i'm watching on the news every single day and it i just want everyone to cooperate like if you like trust me it hurts and it's really tough to not go outside and do something and go see anybody it's really tough like i've been doing this for almost a week almost a week and i'm already like going crazy over this it, it's really ridiculous and um but unfortunately it's what it's what i have to do in order for this whole situation to calm down and blow over and have everything go back to normal and and yeah, basically, no restaurants, no other workplaces, no sports. And now this is where the life story video part comes in for me personally. So, for my internship, for my for uh, my year in college right now, I was supposed to do my internship at Disney. So, I was just um, called um a couple months ago 
about being in Disney for my internship and I was really excited to do it. I was like, wow, this is like something I want to do for a long time. I can't wait to do it. And I was psyched for like pretty much the entire year. And I got there. Um, I don't remember what day I got. I got there Friday, not the past Friday, but one before that. Three Fridays ago. Three Fridays ago, I, I got there. And um, I was supposed to start, you know, like all this training and all these requirements to start working at Disney since it's like pretty much the biggest like place to get together in the entire world with all these like rides and restaurants and all that. So it's pretty much a big deal. And I got everything done. I got I did all my training throughout the week. I did all the requirements and um, my tests and all that. And then pretty much by the start of the week, I was I was ready to go. I was ready to go. And then last not yesterday Saturday, but last Saturday before that, I was given the awful news that Disney was going to shut down for two weeks and all the interns who were living in the complexes near near the near Disney World had to move out within like a couple days and at that point I was like oh my god I can't believe this like I literally just got here I just got here and the worst part is that I drove. I drove. I didn't take a plane, or I didn't um, have my truck shipped to um, to Disney from from my house. No, I we well, I drove, and my parents helped me drive all the way to Disney from New York, and that's not an easy thing to do. That takes two days out of your life just to go from here to there, and I've been there for not even a week, just about to start work, and they tell you that we should well not we should we have to move out of our complexes before this certain day which was Wednesday and i got packed early like really early like right as soon as i heard the news while i was taking the bus back to my room um i got everything packed right away because i heard on the news that like new york city might be locked down and in order for me to get here from florida i have to drive into the city so I didn't want to risk not being able to go through the city and not get home. So I had to get packed early. I had to leave pretty much the next day. So I had to clean everything out of my bin, into my bins, out of my room, the bathroom, pretty much everywhere else I unpacked everything. And I had to put it back in my um, bins and into the truck. And then I had to drive all the way home the next day. And I'm very bummed. I I'm... I'm really frustrated about it because like, think about it, like working in Disney, like it's a great opportunity. Like you work in one of the best places in the world with, with all the, with all the Disney characters, with all the, the happiness and the satisfaction and the experience. And the days I did go there, I visited, excuse me. I visited a couple of places. Like I went to Hollywood studios literally the last day I was there. Me and one of my good friends, who went there um we went to the uh olga cantina if you guys know what that is it's a hollywood studios it's a um a place where you get um some good drinks of course non-alcoholic as well and they were really good i really liked it we met a we met a couple an older couple in there we we had a lot of fun and um talked a lot and like they were really they felt really bad that we had to cancel our internship because of all this and, and yeah, it really sucks. And now I've been home for almost a week, about six days, I think. I think it's six days or seven. I don't know. It's been almost a week is what I'm trying to say. And I'm already going crazy. The fact that I can't do anything. Like, I can't be with my friends. I can't go see my other parts of my family. Like, I can't even go to the bank. Like, I, I can't do anything. I can't leave, like, outside of my house, really, except if I were going to just grab a bite to eat and just bring it back home. Like, this is all crazy. 
and I know you guys are hopefully cooperating with this whole situation and of course like being nice to everyone and trying to keep everyone you know sane and healthy and safe and sound it's just something that I'm taking very seriously like I know like on my channel I joke around a lot and um and all that but like out of all seriousness like I want everyone to cooperate in this situation that we're all in and just hoping and praying that um everything gets back to normal and that um everything is situated the right way and that this whole thing is just over with because I know I don't like this and I'm sure all of you don't like it either but we have to cooperate we have to do what the government says and we have to stay put in our homes and bond more with our family and just stay together and just hope for the best and yeah I wow I had a lot to say there about this whole COVID-19 thing but yeah that is gonna be it for my video I know I had a lot to say and um I know you guys are hanging in there tight. We're going to get through this together. I know we can. This whole thing is going to get done soon, hopefully. And we'll be able to go back to our regular lives. And yeah, just hoping for the best. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. I finally got my comments back up with a little help from um, Element. So yeah, Element, shout out to you for helping me with that um, problem that I had for a couple of months. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm going to have more videos coming out because I'm going to have a lot more time because of this pandemic that we're all in. So yeah, I have more energy drink reviews. I have some more life story videos and other videos coming up soon. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Everyone, please cooperate, stay safe, stay healthy. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Love. Coming down like a copter, Michael Murray on looking like a shotter. Louis Carry on feeling like a ganja. Keep a very long shotty for imposters.